Hey guys, this is Detective Fallen here, back with another investigation video of Yakuza 0. This is Chapter 7, Part 2. Uh, I can't really remember the last thing we were doing, even though we were just playing this. Um, give me a second, we were Mojima. We're hiding out a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, so we just helped that guy cross the bridge. Um, <clears throat> Which took a lot. I ended up having to go buy a zappy gun. Uh, and then we were on our way. Because uh, they're looking for that girl. The blind girl. I'm, we're still not sure why they're looking for her. But they, uh, they want her for something. And then something about a guy with a bat tattoo. Care for a little break, sir? Okay. お。私、この店の店長の用だと申します。今なら当店ナンバーワンの女の子をお付けできますよ。いかがです。この店はキャバクラになります。キャバクラッカー。ちょうどいいわ。まだ遊んだことあらへんね。<laughs> Guy like Yamagata wouldn't recommend him without good reason. Gotta be something to it. Guess it's worth a look. お客様、お待たせしました。ん当店ナンバーワン嬢ゆきちゃんです。どうも。ゆきです。よ。よろしくお願いします。お。お。よ。それでは乾杯しましょうか。お、お。乾杯。あ、あの、すみません。私こんなんで。あ、あ、いや別にいいけど。でもほんまにあんたナンバーワンなんかええ一応ただこの店に在籍してる女の子さ三人ちょっと少なすぎやろ道理で錆びれてるわけやなはいちょっと前までは ずっと。ファイブスター。ソーテンボリファイブスター。ソーテンボリのキャバクラを牛耳っている人気キャバクラ店。5店舗のオーナーたちの総称。彼らがソーテンボリに出店してから、この辺りにたくさんあったキャバ
あんなひどいことをやるのはあんたたちに決まってるだろううちの店が立ち退けばこの蒼天堀のキャバクラが全てファイブスターのものになるあんたの狙いはそれなんだろう<笑>なんだそこまで分かってるんですかなら話が早いさっさと立ち退いてくださいよもちろん今ならそれ相応の立ち退き費用と謝礼はお支払いしますよただこれ以上立てつくようなら話は別ですがね<笑><笑>こんな薄汚れた店に金を出してやると言ってるんだ悪い話じゃないでしょ断るあんたらのせいでどれだけの同業者たちが苦しんだと思ってるんだあんたらみたいな卑怯で汚い連中に蒼天堀は独占させないさすがはかつて人気店だったサンシャインの店長他の店のように簡単には落ちないみたいだねまあ今日は引き上げましょうただ次会う時には結論を聞かせてもらいますな何度来ても同じだ私の結論は変わらないはあ頑固ですねまあそう言わずにまたご挨拶させてくださいよ He basically said, I'll come back when you got the right ah, answer. So, so, Eva, Anata, no, Miss Miss, Tokyo, you soon they are shutting this man. Yeah, so, any stem of sin by the sea, eh? Um, so, what does you have it in the name? Tada. そういうことをする輩がいないくれぐれもお気をつけくそ That kind of upped the ante, didn't it? どうすればいいんだ店長どうすればいいんだろういろいろ大変みたいやな、店長あお客さんすみませんお恥ずかしいと気にするなそれにしてもなんなんやあいつ蒼天堀ファイブスターだったか蒼天堀ファイブスターはお互い手を組んで蒼天堀のキャバクラをすべてもともと蒼天堀にはキャバクラという勢いのある新しいビジネスの波に乗るべくたくさんの店が出店していて栄えていましたしかし彼らファイブスターは手段を選ばず金を使った引き抜きや嫌がらせ暴力による圧力などで次々と他の店を飲み込んでいきましたその結果蒼天堀に残っているキャバクラは彼らの5店舗とうちだけになってしまったんですなるほどなそうなりゃ確かにあんたの店を乗っ取って完全独占したくもなるわなしかしなんであいつらはそんなことをしてまで蒼天堀を独占したいんだ詳しいことは分かりませんが噂では蒼天堀のキャバクラを独占することでキャバレーを潰す力を手に入れたいらしいですキャバレーを潰すはいなんだかんだで夜の街でいまだに大きな力と金を持っているのはグランドなどをはじめとする大型店キャバレーです彼らはそのキャバレーを打ち破り支配することでそこに渦巻く金や利権人脈などをごっそり手に入れたいだから信仰勢力であるキャバクラを完全独占することでキャバレーに対抗する力を手に入れたいんだと思いますなるほどなキャバクラだけでなくキャバレーまで独占できれば実質的に街全体を支配しコントロールすることも可能かもしれんええでもそんな野望のために我々がひどい目に遭うなんて納得がいきませんあいつらに屈することだけはしたくないでも度重なる嫌がらせと圧力で正直営業どころじゃなくなっていましてお店もこの通り
ひどいものでしょうまあお世辞にもいい状態とは言えんなこれでも少し前まではこの地域のキャバクラでは一二を争う人気店だったんですでもあいつらによる店内での迷惑行為の連続でお客さんも離れてしまいましたし女の子もほとんど引き抜かれてしまいましたこのままではいずれにしても近いうちにうちの店は潰れますもうやつらの要求を飲むしかないんですかねあんなやつらの悪事に屈してしまうのはすごく悔しいんですが。Don't much care what happens to this town, but the thought of dicks that like that doing whatever they want pisses me off. Plus, if I let them go now, <clears throat> there'll be trouble for the Grand's bottom line down the road, which means trouble for me if I'm still around. I'm curious about the cabaret club business too. Maybe I'll try to learn a bit more by helping out around here a bit. Shanaina, <laughs> Denjo. 俺が手伝ったるわえ、sorry? 実は、yeah. 俺はファイブスターが狙っているキャバレーグランドの支配人なんだえ、えー、グランドの支配人って確か敏腕と噂のあなただったんですかまあな俺としてもそのファイブスターとかいう奴らにこれ以上力をつけられても困るし何よりもまずそいつらのやり方が気に食わ俺と一緒にこの店を立て直してあいつらを逆にぶっ潰したのでいいいいんですかグランドの支配人さんがこんなさびれた店に協力してくださるなんて困った時はお互い様やそれに俺もキャバクラっちゅう業務形態に興味もあるからな色々勉強させてもらうで<笑>ありがとうございますお客さん<笑>おっと自己紹介がまだやったなマジマや一応頑張ろうぜマジマさんですね何とぞよろしくお願いします<笑>ああええやってええ You can now use Sunshine's back office as your hideout, which also serves as the key location for your business. As the story advances, you'll unlock the ability to switch protagonists using the hideout telephone, as well as change clothes into any outfits you've earned. Let's get to it. As the cabaret club sees are, you need to operate your club, earn money, and grow your clientele, and ultimately crush your competition. Your final goal to establish Sunshine as the undisputed top club in Sintinbori. You can open the club as well as manage the girls who form your active lineup by talking to Yoda inside. Uh, as Sunshine's popularity increases and the, cla and the clash with your Rivals club heats up, the drama will unfold. Drive those rivals out of business and you'll unlock new combat techniques. Majima can learn to become even stronger, so bring the fight to them as aggressively as you can. 
By driving Sunshine's popularity up, you can transform it into the source of tremendous profit, and anything you earn with a club is yours to spend however you wish. Grow the club, smash the competition, and become the true cabaret club Caesar. Caesar, and get filthy rich in the process. <coughs> I got it. <clears throat> sure thing. In that case, the next step is hmm, let's have you actually open the place up and do a round of prep. This is the sort of thing where the quickest way to learn is actually just do it. Let's give it a try. I'll chime in with advice ah. as we go. Let's do this thing. Top menu. There are three options in the top menu. Prepare to open select staff for this shift change, their appearance, etc, etc. Open for business, open the club for business, and start ra raking in the dough and rival battles. Enter a showdown with a rival club. Hostess statistics. Each hostess has a different set of statistics, abilities, various... It's so it's basically like the, uh, the um, one from before, except we're doing it with a cabaret club. So we already kind of know how these uh, points and stuff work. I'm still a little unaware of how the X and triangle and circle and stuff affect uh, the other the other uh, set of skills. But in this one, they mark personality traits. It looks like hostess statistics. Each hostess has a different set of statistics, ability, various stats showing the hostess ability to entertain customers. Looks, physical appearance goes a long way in this line of work. The better the values, the easier it is for the hostess to ensure her guests have a good time and spend lots of cash at the club. Ability stats rise as she levels up, like in any job. She gains experience by working shifts and undertaking training sessions. Special training. Only platinum hostess can undergo special training. During special training sessions, Majima will sit down with a girl for a practice conversation or take her out to a mock date at a karaoke bar, for example. If training goes well, the hostess will earn a lot of experience points. Looks good on her resume, too. You can only train one girl one time before opening for business on a given night. But a well-trained staff will give your club an edge over your rivals. Hone their skills to crush the competition flat makeovers you can freely change the looks of your platinum staff by choosing different outfits or applying new makeup new hairstyles dresses and other items need to be purchased the first time afterwards changing between them is free of charge but only with the girl for whom you bought the item change a hostess looks stats by modifying her appearance which will help her appeal to your customers various tastes Choosing hostesses for a shift, use the duty roster to assign hostesses to work the next shift. Pay close attention to each hostess condition, as this will affect their performance if the hostess is tired. The smart move is often to give her some time off of work to rest and recover. Hostesses will, with more skills or higher levels, cost greater wages, which can affect your overall profits while operating, this, operating the club opening the club for business. Once you have finished any preparations, you can open the club for business. First, choose which areas customers you want to target. The more rival clubs you defeat, the more areas will be available. As you gain more fans in the area, more customers will show up and more of them will be big spenders. After each shift, you will gain more fans in the targeted area according to customer satisfaction. Alright. All that being said, <laughs> Prepare to open. We only got three girls, so that's that's who's there. <laughs> Give some special training. Bam. Zuzo. Top girl. Okay, let's do a little conversational training. Hi. Yes, thank you for the help with this. What's up, Yuki-chan? You nervous or something? No, no, I wouldn't call it nerves. It's more like battle butterflies. Mm -hmm. uh, so, well, I guess the encour that's encouraging enough. All right, you're ready to pretend I'm a customer? Hi. Yes. Uh, hello, customer. I am Yuki. I look forward to a fun conversation with you. Mm. Uh, you sure you've got this? 
Zuzo. Okay, well, let's start with an easy topic. Tell me about some hobbies of yours. Shu-shu-shu-mi-no-hanashi-desu-ka? Yep, come to think about it, I don't know much about you either. Let's use this little practice to get better acquainted, eh? Shumi desu yo ne. Nani ka atta ka na? Shumi. Shumi. Ah! Hmm? Got anything? Hai! Watashi. Musumi deshita. Oi, oi. Hey, hey, if. If you want to be a hostess, that kind of talk ain't gonna cut it. You just flatline the whole conversation. Hmm. A diary, huh? That's a great start, actually. What do you write about in it? Oh, just boring stuff like what happened today, what should I make for dinner, how my bonsai plant's growing, that kind of thing. You got an eye for detail then, Yuki-chan. That suits you just fine. Huh? What? Of course I do, when they deserve them. Hmm. Well, that's because you... Well, you're... Never mind. あ、私が褒められるべき人間じゃないって言いたいんですか。田島さん、本当一言多いですよね。Hey, I ain't said squat. You really you really clam up when the guest stops talking, don't you? そうなんですよね。なんか私なんかが急に話しかけたら、いや。Impolite. That ain't the right idea at all. Our customers are here specifically to talk to the girls, Yuki-chan. You've got to lead them in with some topics. でも私、お客さんとどんなこと話したらいいかわからなくて、どうすればいいんでしょう。Mm, try to compliment them. If you're drawing a blank on something to talk about, try a compliment. Ain't a man in the world who would turn down a compliment. <coughs> a compliment? Yeah, his face, his voice, maybe his personality? If he looks even a little well off, try saying something nice about his clothes, his shoes, or hell, even his watch. Wait, is that your ideal of a compliment? Eh? What? Oh boy. The road to success is going to be a long and bumpy one for you, Yuki chan. Let's see, what else is a good conversation starter? Do you have some kind of talent? Maybe, uh, on second thought, scratch that. Hmm? Oh, no kidding? Okay, what is it? Eh,そうですね。よく私よりに好かれたりしますよ。
I mean, I wouldn't say, I don't know. I see you, so the old guys fancy you, do they? I suppose you do seem like a grandkid. Really? Mm. Makes sense. But that's actually a big plus in our line of business. I could let you handle all the grandpas who roll through the doors. Nope, it's settled. We're giving you all the grandpas, Yuki. Alright, let's change gears. Why don't you tell me about a weakness you've got instead? Anything come to mind? <sighs> Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Well, if you got a lot, how about you pick one for me? Anything's fine. そうですね。真面目な話をしますと、私、男の人と話すことが苦手です。え？え？If you're no good at talking to men, why the hell would you work at a place like this? あ、えっと、それはですね。そ、ただ苦手だからこそですよ。ここで働いたら男の人への免疫が高まるんじゃないかなって。Oh, come on. You're lying through your teeth. You're a real terrible liar, Yuki-chan. It, it's not a... Damn, girl. What have you got to, hi got to hide? Anyway, listen. It's fine. You've got your secrets. But if you want to last here, you got to learn how to hide them better than that. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a good stopping place. Sure thing. Good job. So let's see. Hey, that was halfway decent. You did pretty good, all things considered. Treat your customers just like that and you'll pull through. I understand. I hope I'll be able to do just as well when it's for real. Yeah, do your best. Hi. Yes, thank you for the advice. Oh, oh Yuki-chan leveled up. She gonna be catering all the grandpas.
Oh man, this is really going in depth. I wasn't expecting this game to go so deep. Yeah, your boy broke. I don't know. I don't know what to spend my money on, but <laughs> she better earn us some money. That's all I'm saying. I officially spent all my money on you. The only thing I haven't, I wasn't able to buy was a couple of other accessories. Alright, go make me some money, chick.
いらっしゃいませお客様いらっしゃいませ I do enjoy the idea that like you literally get a whole lineup you get to like decorate yourself that's pretty cool the club operation screen uh, your objective is to make as much money as possible before the shift ends when the customer comes in and takes a seat assign him a hostess different customers have their own preferences when it comes to looks or ability choose a girl that matches their type and they will happily spend a fortune in your club Serving customers gradually tires the hostess out, lowering her hospitality points. Without HP, she will be unable to provide high quality service, so let her rest until her HP recovers. The club operation screen on standby. Oh, you got the ones on the left. Time remaining's up top. Talk. Party talk. Okay. Money gauge and the party time. One and two. The money gauge at the bottom right corner of the screen shows how much cash your guest has spent in the club at the time. Receiving orders from customers also fills up the money gauge. Press RB when it is full to cut loose and trigger party time. Money gauge and party time. Party time will put customers in a fevered state that loosens their inhibitions and their uh, purse strings. <laughs> there are plenty of benefits to party time like HP restoration for hostesses charge up the money gauge to higher level to make party time even more effective it's a happy hour without the discounts serving customers press y to approach a customer's table if any trouble arises it's time for the check or if a hostess calls for your help you will be shown several options making the right decision can boost customer satisfaction or pacify any troublemakers Checking in on tables is an opportunity to lend your staff a helping hand. Wait too long and you may lose your chance, so keep an eye open and hurry on over when you spot a signal. Extensions and requests. If a guest is happy with his hostess, the, when it is time for the check, you can try to suggest an extension. The customer will stay longer and go into a fevered state spending money like there's no tomorrow. Getting mega rich customers to agree to an extension is a foolproof way to boost sales and keep your girls milking the golden cash cow. As your club makes a name for itself, some customers will come in requesting a specific class and then hostess. Shift the girls around to fulfill these requests as they arrive. Everyone's got a favorite. God damn, that's a lot. Alright, <clears throat> results screen. Two results screens appear after closing up. The first displays your profits and the second shows your staff's improvement of the day. Hostess earn experience points based on their sales numbers to level up a hostess more quickly, assign her to guests more often. Earning more fans. Your club will earn more fans depending on its performance to increase your popularity in a certain area. Make sure to target it with opening for business and send your customers home happy. As popularity increases, so will the quality of your customers based and, and with it, your profits. To progress to the five stars storyline, you will need to reach a particular number of fans in each area. Uh, uh, shit. I don't I don't know. Just give him a key, fuck it. How do I go help her? Sitting now. 
I'm just gonna figure out how to. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
The zone we recovered at the Grand should be fine if I bring the rest over here. I'll put in that call now. Hey! I'm amazed. I'm not surprised, Mishima-san. Hard to believe that it was your first time. Keep that up, and it was just might really manage to beat those bullies mm -hmm. back. And which bullies might those be exactly? Ugh, you know. I'm here for your answer, as promised. Well, I'm ready. Sell this hovel to me yet? I told you before, the answer's no. <sighs> I see. I was hoping to do this ambassadably. Shame. Oi. All right, you lot. Mm -hmm. What are you? Chief's a stubborn fool, the reality of his Oi. situation. Ugh. So you resort to violence in the end. You're a coward, you know. <laughs> Sticks and stones. We'll see which comes first. Do you give me what I want or you die? Either way, I can't wait. Oi. Do it. Hold up a second. What are you supposed to be? <clears throat> Name's Majima. Yudi Hans asked me to take over operations here. And as long as I'm standing, nobody's making trouble in my shop. <laughs> a new manager, huh? I see. I'll grant you. It's a wiser choice than letting a dimwit like Yoeda keep running this dunghole to the ground. And you seem like you know your way around a fight. So you're the boss and the bouncer. Clever choice for an idiot. I'm impressed, truly. What do you want us to do? take this guy out yeah. too? No, I find myself curious to see as how they plan to claw their way out of this hole. We can crush them anytime. I look forward to being entertained as I watch just how far you manage to crawl after making enemies of the five stars. <clears throat> you were lucky today, you ate a son. And Majima-san? Well, why don't you try your best? If I get bored, I'll drop by and swat you down like the flies you oh. are. Bring it, Quirky. Enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards come crumbling down on top of you. Hope your ass is ready to get buried. <laughs> we'll see how long that big talk lasts. I advise you not to take the five stars lightly. <clears throat> Thank you, majima -san. Don't worry about it. The real battle's just starting. We gotta whip the club into fighting shape fast if you want to take them on. <laughs> we will. I will give... It all I got, Majima-san. Anytime you want to open the club for business, just let me know. Anytime at all. I've got my hands full with my own place too, so I can't be here around the clock. I'll make a point to drop by whenever I get a minute though. So that's one of the Satori's five stars. This might be tougher than I thought. Things are about to get interesting. I'm starting to get why Yamagata Han told me to check out the cabaret clubs, but that ate up more time than I planned. I should get going back to the Grand. I don't know. I kind of had a good time doing that. Did we, get, we got some money from that? Not for real, for real. We got more girls in the club now, though. Yes. Got two more girls, so I should be able to, uh... Alright, let's do some more training. Yeah. What's up, Yuki-chan? You nervous again? Aww. That's the spirit, Yuki-chan. Alright, I'm gonna be your customer. 
and we're gonna talk. Are you Hi. ready? <sighs> All right, let's get to know each other a little better, Yuki. Not that I care, but why don't you tell me about what kind of guy you like? なんて答えがいいのない質問の仕方。会話練習なんですから、ちょっとは真島さんも私が楽しく話せるように気を使ってくださっても。Yeah, yeah, my bad. So tell me about your type already. そうですね。私王子様みたいな人がいいです。え？あ、a uh, prince? 優しくて。背が高くて、ハンサムで、髪の毛サラサラ。私のことを大事にしてくれて、そして白馬が似合う人がいいなぁ。なんて。I think I get you. 俺もや。yeah. I can see that. If I were looking for a lady, I'd want a princess too. <笑>え、まさか、アジマさんに分かってもらえるとは意外です。Hey, if you're gonna hold on to dreams or idols, you better swing for the fences. So this yone. Natasha Takai di so wikaketai des. Demo, so my to zenze inakte. Ya pari hado. Zuya! Let me ask you, Yuki. How old are you anyway? Niju san des. Hmm. I see. I see. Uh. Sonna ni usagi. Anyway, I'm super I'm surprised you're such a dreamer, Yuki-chan. Ah, so you grew up surrounded by girls at your school. I'm starting to see why it's been tough being around men. Oh, what? All this then? What's all this then? この際ですし、聞いておこうかなと。私が積極下手なせいでみんなの足を引っ張ってたら嫌だなって思ってるんです。A club needs variety. Club needs a wide variety of girls, actually. Huh? I mean, sure, it'd be nice to have someone who could actually talk to the customers, but some guys prefer girls who come off like they don't buy into the whole nightlife business. So, so they show ah. See, a girl like you adds appeal to the club as a whole, Yuki-chan. We can cater to all walks of life that way. いや、いつもみたいに罵られると思ってたんで、少し驚いただけです。ありがとうございます。What kind of guy do you take me for? <laughs> Hey, I know it's probably a ways off, but I wonder what you'll be like when you get yourself a boyfriend, Yuki-chan. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to come back to the king of the king. Right. Cape, sword, and the whole nine yards. I don't know how to say it. But... A hassle, even if it was your estranged princeling. If my boyfriend really were a prince. If I were a prince. お化粧や服装に気を使わなきゃいけないですし、そもそも 
相手とどんな話をすればいいのか見当つきませんしね。<laughs> you donkey, you gotta do all that at work here every day. Getting dolled up and talking to guys is your job, remember? Hey, none of that now. If you got time to feel sorry for yourself, you should channel that into up in your game. そうですね。いつまでもこの店のお荷物じゃいられませんからね。私、やる気が出てきました。真島さん、今私に一番足りないものって一体何でしょうか。私、知りたいんです。Ah,、uh, let me think about that one.、Hmm. Mm. Thinking big picture, I'd say you're missing everything.、はあ、oh. Big oofies.、Yeah. Oh, no, I take it back. Never mind, Yuki Chen. <sighs> you know, you're an odd girl, Yuki Chen. <laughs> well, in one breath you're saying you'd want to date a prince, and in the next you're saying it'd be a hassle. <laughs> you're like a grumpy old man in the body of a romantic young lady. <laughs> Oh, I, I. <laughs> so grumpy and middle aged is fine, long as you're a woman. Well, maybe this is a bad time to bring it up, but have you ever actually gone out with someone, Yuki chan? I get the feeling you've never dated. Ah, <laughs>、uh, well, you sure proved me wrong. You've got quite a bit of dating experience, Yuki chan. So, so, nan desu yo. What's the matter? Nan ka jibun de uso t s u i t e te, kanashiku no te kimashita. Kind of figured, but you know, it ain't all bad. Some of our guests actually like inexperienced girls better. Cheer up. Alright, let's call it a day. Hey, that was halfway decent. You did pretty good, all things considered. Treat your customers just like that, and you'll be. and you'll pull through. Up to level five. All right.
Awaken or Burn. Still not quite sure how a lot of this stuff works, but we'll hopefully survive. Oh shit, I didn't realize I had built it up. at least. We're getting there, we're getting there. 
ありがとうございましたなあなあ、I'm gonna let these girls rest up I'll be back Got a whole lot of time. What's the plan here? We figured we could make a name for ourselves and make some coin at the same time. We're gonna put on these big fights, the three of us against you, Majima san. Of course, <laughs> we'd fight with breakdancing. What do you think? I'm just gonna focus over hard earned coin just to watch some guys dance around and pretend to fight. I don't want to get pathetic here. So, we just gotta make it worth their while then. This will be a real fight, Mishima-san. Intense enough to leave them with their jaws so low they'll let... <clears throat> they're letting flies in. <clears throat> you serious? Even if we pull punches, that's gonna leave some bruises, you know? Yeah, I'm serious. Couldn't be more serious. We could call them breaker battles. We'd be the talk of the Sitahori after area. Wouldn't hurt to try, I guess. Let's do it. We're... <clears throat> Where do you have in mind? I ain't gonna draw a crowd back here in these alleys. On our main stage, of course. Let's head to our digs on Iowa Bridge. Oh, Wowie Bridge. Oh, wow. Iowa. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll show them what real breaking is all about. <clears throat> <laughs> you all right? I was trying to hold back, but I landed a few head crackers mm -hmm. there. Ah, uh, I'll survive. I think. How the show go? Was count. Uh, wasn't counting on any tips at all. So I figured we did pretty damn good. Once you put a bit of polish on things, you might make some real green. <clears throat> yeah. Right. 
I'm thinking we can make this work. Let's do this again soon, Majima son. Here, this is your cut for today's haul. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What's up, Majima son? Seems a little short. Is all we, is all. We racked up, we racked in more than this, didn't we? Yeah. What? That's your 20%. It's all there. Huh? 20%? I don't want to put in, put you in the poor house or anything, but you do know who was doing the real work out there, don't you? Come on, man. Don't be like that. Sure, we were putting on a show, but it still hurts like hell to be the other end of those kicks of yours. Uh. We're gonna have to spend a fortune on hot compress to get the swelling down. And the only reason we got to use that bridge is because I won the spot for us. And, uh. and, okay, okay. Maybe you got a point if you factor in the uh, treatment and location. I'll take 20%. <laughs> Glad you see it my way, Majima-san. Now I can pick up one of those CD boom boxes. Huh? Boom boxes? Yeah. I said compress. Hot compress, you must have heard me wrong, Majima son. You got a mouth on you, alright. Still, I guess I can trust that you're serious about dancing. Okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> yep, well be waiting, Majima son. <laughs> hey, Majima son, you're back. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, we gotta start off some training today. Training, you say. Ain't no need for that. But I've been dreaming up some new moves, haven't actually tried them out myself, so you gotta put some practice in to make sure they work. The way I see it, you're the only one who can pull these off, so you gotta make sure you're dancing up the scratch. Give me a second here. There. Are what I ha these are what I had in mind. Which one do you wanna practice? Essence of Friendly Fire? Okay, Essence of Friendly Fire it is. Let's give it a go. You're gonna bring the pain to the two guys coming at you, and don't forget a bodacious pose. Make sure make your move soon as you see one of them try to hit you. While between two enemies, press Y as the enemy attacks. Do not enter a RB stance. I unload on them just as they start attacking. No problem. See, this would have been good for that other. The bridge battle. When caught between two enemies, press Y in time with in time with the enemy's attacks. Don't enter a fighting stance. Hey yo! Oh, that's that's too cool. That, that was totally fresh. Let's keep this going for the real show, too. We'll show this off at the double knock performance. You learn the essence of friendly fire. Honestly, that's a pretty cool attack. I like that one. I mean, honestly, the whole fighting stance is great. I just, it's funny how they chose these guys as the, uh, guys to teach it to me. We already did essence of friendly fire. Okay, pose soul finisher it is. Let's give it a go. Right after you knock a guy down, you're gonna finish him off with a lightning quick blow. A charged up windmill ought to knock him down easily. 
Press Y near an enemy lying on the ground. Foes stay down for different times depending on the attack used. So it's important to choose your move wisely. Press Y close to an enemy on the ground. The time an enemy stays down varies depending on the attack used, so choose your attacks carefully. That was totally fresh. Let's keep this going for real, show two. All right, uh, he's got three more moves to show me, but I need some health. So we gonna take off for a little minute. Let's see if we can't find a gas station or something nearby. Sorry, not a gas station, a convenience store. So most of our convenience stores out here are also gas stations, so. <laughs> yeah. I shall dine at your restaurant. I need food. Yeah, it's it's in my belly. Started up friendship. Making friends, making friends. Oh, da, 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 Talk to him in a second. Yes, I was there. I got all this. I actually should buy a handful of those. Yes, I was there. I got all this. No, 
I'm screwed. Oh. Hey, what's wrong? I've seen dumpsters happier oh. than you. Oh, that voice. Hello again. That's my sneakers. The soles have finally worn through. They do look beat, mm. beat to crap. Yes. They were my favorite pair. I can't even go buy a new pair like mm. this. He needs new shoes, huh? I'd give him some, but I ain't exactly in the habit of carrying a spare oh. pair. What am I going to do? Don't Guigito carry sneakers, if I remember right. Maybe I'll get him a pair if I feel like it. Let's go get this man some new sneakers. Let's go get him some sneakers. Let's go get him some sneakers. Who has them? There we go. That's where we want to go. So straight that way, I think. Sneakers. What am I going to do? Poor guy's shoes gave up the ghost. I got a pair of sneakers on me, but do I want to give them to him? Yes, that's why I went and bought them. Here, will these do the trick? Huh? Yeah. I can have these? Really? Thank you so much. I'll put them on right now. I'm glad I knew what his foot size was. Shit. Wow, these sneakers are great. They feel wonderful. These are the latest style too, aren't they? Oh man, are they cool. I should go for a run in them. It would be a waste not to. <sighs> hey, did you forget the whole reason you got into this mess? Did you ought to take it, think you ought to take it easy, maybe? Oh, that's right. I couldn't contain myself. I'm so happy. <laughs> Getting happy makes you want to run. That's a thing. <laughs> I hear that all the time. I was on the track team in college. Running is in my blood. You're a strong runner then, I take it. Hi. Yes, I am. But I've been running too much without taking the proper precautions. That's how I ended up injured. Let me guess, you're still running hey. errands. Yeah, I can't stand the thought of not seeing her happy. Oh, and I'm keeping her waiting. I have to go. Thank you so much for these sneakers. <sighs> Well, at that pace, he'll end up hurting himself again. Let's get back to dude who was training us. Be the world's best breakdance fighter! <laughs> hey, Mishima-san, got time for a bout. We're about to do some boat breaker battles. Nope, I'm here to learn some new moves. <sighs> dash periodicity. Press Y while running to perform a dash period running assault. Run up and attack them, huh? No problem. Hey! 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 
That was totally fresh. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and head to the pink destination marker. See what's next in our adventure. Uh. Bro. Huh? Hey, that's Eddington. Looks like his feet are killing him again. Screwed, huh? What's wrong? Oh, hello. It's my feet. They're killing me again. I think I can walk again if I rest a while, but can't say I didn't warn you, right? Yes, you did. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're running errands again. Yes, I am. I have to deliver this uh, absorbent sheet in a hurry. What am I going to do? You gone and made your injury worse, didn't you? If you explain why you're late she'll understand won't she but she said she has plans if i don't get it to her in a hurry 
I might miss her. I see. Mm, maybe if you have time, do you think you could deliver this absorbent sheet to her? What? I gotta run an errand so she can wipe her face? I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? The ideal of me running an errand flat out nuts, but I'd like a peek at the girl who's making him do all this. She must be some kind of special. She's got gonna run Aaron Cun into the ground at this rate. Maybe I can set her straight. Heck yeah. Let's go set this girl straight for Aaron Cun. You will? Sure. So where's the sweetheart at? Thank you so much. She's waiting on the footpath along the river on the Sotenbori Street side. Got it. The river path on Sotenbori Street side. You rest up till you're good enough to walk. I will. Thank you. Here's uh, her observant sheet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Aaron Cun's Aaron boy now. Nice. Alright, hold on. I need to pull up the map because I have no clue where I'm going to right now. I'm just with all these story points. the bridge. Two for one, I like it. Okay, reason with them calmly. It's as sweet as it comes. You got candy. What the hell? You think this makes it all better? What am I, five? Oh. 
Damn it. Fine, screw this. <sighs> How'd I end up getting painted as the bad guy? This Uptarian is one cunning adversary. I just wanted some of the food. I never get any of the food. Where's Erdekan? I told him I needed that absorbent sheet, like now. What? Sorry to keep you waiting. Excuse me. And who are you? Erdekan hurt his foot and he can't run on it. So he begged me to get this to you. Is that right? Well, whatever works. Thanks. <sighs> hey, how about a little concern for the guy? It don't bother you at all that he's in pain? Huh? Tomokun, sorry, Enenkun was kind of slow today, but this man here brought what we needed, so we're good. <sighs> nice man, I was getting really sweaty too. <laughs> Anything for you, Tomokun. You better whip that Enenkun into shape, though. Gotta give him some tough love so he's never late <clears throat> again. No problem. Oh. Hey, what the shit? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Wasn't it you who requested that? Erenkun thought he was doing it for you, so he busted his ass to get it. Huh? <laughs> Does it matter what Tomokun wants? I want too. We're totally getting steady now. <laughs> yeah, Erenkun's usually good at his job. Quick, courteous, and free. Of course, he doesn't know we're an item now. These assholes. They don't give a rat's ass about Erenkun. Doesn't the movie start soon, Tomokun? We better oh. go. Yeah, come on, babe. Hey, before you go, I'm gonna need you to make me a quick promise. We don't owe you shit, man. What do you want? Edenkun has run his last errand for you. This stops now. You already got plenty out of him. Now let him go and stop toying with his feelings. Dude, why would I make a promise like that? A good errand boy is tough to find these days. You shouldn't talk so big, stick man. Tomokun could wipe the smirk off your face real easy. Really? Because I wipe my ass with guys like Tomo. Uh. Oh, you want to get it on? Cool, cool. You can be my personal errand boy. Then we'll have two. <laughs> if you win, I'll run errands for you all over town, bare ass naked, with property of Tomo kind of tattoo. You, you're going to regret talking shit.
So, what do you say about making that promise, or do I need more convincing? I will, I will, I promise. I won't ever make him run errands again. I'm so sorry. Wait, Tomokun, what about the movie? Uh. Well, I managed to get him to stop abusing Erdogan. Generosity, but I do need to tell him the truth. Huh? Oh, hey, if it ain't Aaron Kun, you okay to be running Hi. again? Yes, a little rest was all I needed. But anyway, did I get the observant sheet to her? Uh. Yeah, I made the draw, mm -hmm. but... But... Nah, we need to tell this boy the truth. Uh. Well... I hate saying this, but the woman actually has a boyfriend. I know. You don't need to say anymore. I actually saw her walking around with this handsome looking guy the other day. She looked happy, but I couldn't ask her about him. I was afraid of learning the truth. Aaron Cotton, still, kind of rips your heart out to know for sure. But maybe this is the reality check I needed. I'm not going to run any more errands for her. Good, that's for the best. Of course, who knows what'll happen if I fall for the next girl. But that's just the kind of guy I am. Nothing wrong with being that kind of guy a girl can depend on. But it's all about respect. If you have, if you both have an equal share of it, then nothing can tear you apart. <laughs> Here's hoping the next lady will fall for treats. Treats you with the same love and care you got for her. Hi. You gave me medicine, sneakers, and you did so much more. Nah, it ain't much in the grand scheme of yeah. things. No, no, that's simply not true. If I could only repay you for your kindness somehow. Don't sweat it, my needs are met. <laughs> if there's anything I can do, I'll be happy to do it for you. I'm willing to run anywhere. <laughs> you really got a thing for running. I... Yes, if there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate oh. to ask. Sure, you got it. Okay, I'll be going now. Oh, cool. What kind of errands? Oh, hello. Need me to run errands for you? How about a little something to fill your stomach? After you did for me, it's my treat. Yes. <laughs> sure, that'd be Hi. good. Yes, sir. Oof, oof. Sorry to keep you waiting. You got a steam to pull in. Yeah, I'm a little winded, but I'm happy to run errands for you again as soon as I catch my breath. Very cool. Number one errand boy in sound. At least he's running for someone who actually, like, respects him. Fucking squatters. Dun dun dun. Wait, was that a shiny? I thought I saw a flashy flash. Oh, maybe not. Aw, oh, shit. Help! Pervert! There's a pervert here! Uh, you old shitbag! Who are you calling a pervert? <laughs> he fell right into the Upterian uh, strap. Oh. You dumb hag! Now you're really gonna get it. Whoa, now he's crossed the line. Uh, Nobody gets cute with the Yakuza, bitch. Suck on this. What? Who the fuck are you? The the eye patch fella. Hey, I know this old lady's a real pain in the ass, but that don't give you the right to pull a blade uh. on a civilian. Huh? Hey buddy, I know how you feel, I really do. I got accused of being a perv too. But it ain't worth it. Trust me, let sleeping dogs lie. You're no match for the Uptarian. Hell, I ain't either. You trying to tell me what to do? You mosey up to me and tell me I'm no match for some old hag? You don't know shit, friend. The two of you can share a grave. Uh -huh. 
you, you ain't bad. Praise is cheap coming from a chump. Now get lost. T nah, nah. You're the bee's D, this high patch fella. Bah. I ended up coming to your rescue without even meaning to. Kind of hate myself right now. Well, on closer inspection, you're a fine piece of work. Just like my husband when he was still kind of grabby. My heart's really pounding. Whoa, whoa, dial it down. You're creeping me out, lady. No need to be any feminine wiles. Oh, but I've got to repay you to set things right. Feh. Keep your candy, lady. I don't need the, sh the sugar high. Oh, I had something in mind much sweeter than candy. Huh? Come to granny, you fine, handsome devil. Oh, God. Whoa! She's, she's too strong. I can't hold her off. Oh, wow. Pop the cork too early, sweetie. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's been a while for me too. <laughs> Woohoo! Get a room, you two. Oh, please, don't tease. <sighs> the guy at the counter was right. The only thing to be gained from getting involved with an Altarian is misery. The toughest creature under the sun ain't a pro fighter. It ain't a Yakuza. It's the Osakan Altarian. <laughs> I still haven't got my food. Pretty upsetting. <clears throat> I guess it is about time I went to work, huh?支配人。すみません。よろしいですか。ん um, what should I tell him, sir? I'll be right there. On the table. I'll take you there if you follow me. I haven't used that function in a while. シハイニ、こちらのお客様です。お呼びでしょうか。ああ、私ね、シハニさん。ジャンバレの闇じゃ。なんてやったんか。グランドイオミセ。全部シハニさんのおごりね。ま、ここはもう俺がこのお客様の
なあなんでお店出たらあなた自分の家に向かう支配人さんの家ここから遠いいや蒼天堀沿いやあご都合ねリさんあなたがうちに着いたらそこであなたに声かけるリさんお店から出たあなたのことどこからか見てる俺のねぐらを突き止めたいっちゅうわけだ私伝言伝えるだけよく知らないよそうか分かったあんたはこのまま好きなだけ飲んでいけや本当いいのはあさすが太っ腹ねシハニさん私あなた大好きよマジマ<笑>やっぱりやどっかで見た顔や思とってグランドの支配人マジマゴロゆうべは世話になったなゆうべどちらさんでしたっけわしらんことはどうでもええんやマコトちゃんどこやったあの女どこ隠したんやお前らおんなさらいに来た連中が<笑>何そっちから顔出してくれたんかおんどれ余裕かましよって何言わろとんねなんであの子が狙われとんのかこれでやっとわかる思うてな、ね、舐めとんのかゆうべは油断したけどな今日はそうもいかんでもうわしらもなりふりかまってられんのや極道なめとったらあかんでくれうん。
That was actually a pretty tough one. I had to pull out the little zappy zappy gun. Honestly, that's probably going to be like my favorite thing. なんかトラブルかラシクねえなお前さんが店のすぐ近くで暴れ別になんでもあらへんならお店をおったらかしてどこへ行く気だまだやへえけど昨夜お前ねぐらに戻らなかったそうじゃねえか今探しとる途中や
Having a ball slow We don't shake these Yakuza now that are chasing the grave. He's talking. So I'm talking. So I'm talking. Huh? What? This apartment. It's been vacated from here. It's at least four floors. いいよ、気づいたな。お前、誠のこと隠しとんのバレとんちゃうか。いや。ずっと前から監視されとるんや、ここは。俺の雇い主も。お前の店の周りもやで。分かっとる。他に総天堀からよそに出る道も全部や。
Might as well stop by our club at the same time, right? Oh wait, I can't I won't let us in right now. That's kinda lame. おれ、入るで。うん。お前のとこの店長もう来たんか。うん。今飲み物買いに行ってて。その封筒は知らない。あなたに見てもらえってリーさん。封筒何が入ってたの若い女の写真や同じ女が何枚も隠し撮りされとるリーさんがそんなものなんでうんよう早速見とるな矢を取れてるやろリーなんなんやこの写真まあ待てや言われんでもこれからじっくり説明したるさあ飲めやありがとうリーさんお前の分もあるでいいリーなんや考えがある言うてたんはこの写真のことだいたいこの女誰や結婚詐欺の常習犯やそれだけやないこいつに貢いとった男が何人か不審死しとる多分絞るだけ絞って縁切り代わりにやったんやろけどこの下道女のええとこは年頃と背格好やなまことによう似とるそれがどないした薬屋でほんまりお前何をこっから先はこの子に聞かせる話とちゃうんでな少し眠らしとくあお前も殺し屋にしちゃ鈍いなその写真の女はな誠の身代わりや身代わりええか殺しの依頼した時その依頼主は何が欲しい元を殺したっちゅう結果やせやけ結果や殺した結果っちゅうのは死体死体があれば雇い主は納得するせやからその写真の女には誠の身代わりに死体になってもらうんや何やてわしとお前でやる死体にこの服着せてな死体見つけた札は身元確認するのにわしんどこ来るやろそしたらわしはこう答える間違いありませんその死体はうちの従業員です言うてな
バオかそんなん札が調べたらすぐバレるやろ大丈夫や女殺した後はその顔を誰かわからんようにしてしまえばいい指紋も薬で焼いてるんやお前は何なんや一体本当のこと言えやお前は何もんやただのハリシタなんとか言わんかい<笑>わしも元はあんたとんやと大陸系の組織に雇われとった最後半年前確かあんたがこの子拾ったんもいや覚えとったの<笑>組織に監禁されとる女がおったとしてどないしてわしがそれを拾えんねん道端にでも落ちとるか半年前わしは組織に雇われて韓国系の連中を襲撃した女の死ぬ倉庫におったんは2人そいつらを始末してみるとそこにハンラの女がギョウさん監禁されとってなけどそん中に1人だけ身動きそれがああまことやこの子はギュッと握って離さんかったわしはその小さいでどうにも話すことあんたはそれ以来の親代わりっちゅうわけかああせやけどわしも昔はほんまの娘持つ親やった小さい時から病気そのしぐさがあんとマジマわしはもう自分より先に娘行かせるわけにいかんねや娘守るためやったら赤の他人なんぞいくらでもぶっ殺したるそれがええことやないことも分かってるせやけどもう他に手はないんやお前にも手貸してもらうでマジマお前の雇い主に誠殺した報告してもらわなあかんどうあ,あろくどうなめすぎやそんな小細工すぐバレるせやったら他にどんな手があるっちゅうねん言うてみ話やしまいや俺はお前の計画には乗らんそうやってまた逃げんのがわしにはわかるでお前が固めなくしてもたんも備えして逃げてきたからやろなんやとなんやかや理由つけて己の手汚さんとずっと自分を正当化してきたんとちゃうかけどお前も所詮元は極道やったんや一度黒に染まったもんはどこまで行っても黒せやったら腹決めて地獄をつらんかいお前が俺の何を知っとるんやポケ最後にもう一遍聞いとくわしの話に乗る気はほんまにないんやなないなそうかそしたら黒に染まった門の流儀教えたるわどの道わしの計画知ったからには生きてここから出すわけにはいかん死ねやマジマ
マジマほんまに身代わり立てるしか手がないんやこの先まことを守りきるにはまことの死体が必要やこのままやったらいつかまことんとこにお前以外の殺し屋が来るそれより前にお前もやられるでなんでそれがわからんねやそれやったらそれで俺が向かってくるも一人残らずぶっ殺したらな,なんやとこそんなできるわけやか確かに一度黒に染まったもんはどこまで行っても黒いそっから抜けることはできんけどなそれでも噛みつく相手選ぶくらいはできる<笑>それが俺の流においやめろや<笑>母
風邪ひかんように見といたれやあんたはその子の親代わりなんやろ支配におはようございますおう先ほど支配人宛てにほぐし会館のリー様という方からお電話がございましたリーかなご存知の方ですかまあええー、それが支配人にすぐそのほぐし会館に来た支配人わかったよう伝えてくれたないえそれAin't you that guy Majima who runs the Grand?、Oh. Um, yeah, that's me. Thought so. How's it going? Making mad moolah? I do all right for myself. How about you? Uh, you really gotta ask that? You're the one who brought it up. Smart guy.、Oh. To tell you the truth, I got serious money b r o b l e m Yeah? Well, the Bank of Majima is closed. Sorry. <clears throat> no, no. 
trouble is, I got more cash than they can use. Say what? You ever earn all that from tips? Use some kind of guitar maestro? Oh, this... <clears throat> oh, this money's all mine. I hand it out to people who listen to me play. Are you for real right now? Yeah. Well, what else am I gonna do? No matter how much I spend, I can't get rid of it. I took it to the bank, but they said they ain't got enough room in the vault. Damn. Figured people take some off my hands if I play them a song or two. Why not skip the tunes and just give it out? <laughs> you got me there. I see why they call you Lord of the Night. What's that got to do with anything? Are you really that rich? Feels like you're yanking my chain. Oh, it's my wealth that is my wealth that obvious. I try not to flaunt it too much, but when you're the king, you got the aura of bling. Ain't no way to hide the high baller vibe. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I hate to break it to you, but you look more like a cross between a lounge singer and a used car hey? salesman, huh? Seriously, the sleaze is just oozing out of off you. Yeah. What? Well. You're nothing like the types who show up at my club and throw money around, that's for sure. Aww. Yeah, I thought you might say that. What? So you're admitting it. It's been stressing me out. I really am rolling in dough. But for whatever reason, people think I look like a human embodiment of a gutter. Are you trying to tell a sob story? Because it ain't working. Aww. What I'm trying to do is find a way to show my wealth. That's when I heard the rumors about you, Mijima-san. Satin Boar's Lord of the Night. First time I saw you on the street, guys and girls were falling all over themselves, left or right to get in your good graces. <laughs> yeah, I don't exactly like all the attention. But you don't seem rich at all, Majima san yeah, huh? Sure, you look flashy on the outside, but it feels like an act to me. I can see the veneer peel and all. Oh, I hope I'm not offending you or anything. Huh, guess you don't savvy after you guess you got some savvy yeah. after all what yeah. never mind tell me what you got stopping me on the street if you think I'm faking it oh, no. yeah about that I was thinking maybe you and I could be friends what I want you to show me how to act rich and what makes you think I do that what's in it for me yeah. for you yeah you may have money coming out your ears but I gotta work to get paid at and time is money. Don't know what to say to that. Let me ask you then. What's the difference if you look rich or not? It's a huge difference. When you look rich, you can hit on girls without them screaming and run away. They might actually listen for for a change. Who knows? Maybe ladies will start trying to talk to me into marrying them. I could build a, up a whole harem. Huh? So you're just another horn dog chasing tail after all. Pretty damn pathetic. How the hell did you get rich in the first place? I don't understand this world sometimes. <laughs> when it comes to the money, I got all the luck. It just seems to fall into my lap. Just like how girls fall into the laps of popular guys, I guess. Okay, now you're just being a creeper. How about this then? If you help me... How about this then? If you help me earn some green, I'll be your pal. Mm -hmm. What? That ain't how it works. Friendship ought to be something you give away for free. Oh, now you're gonna talk, take the high moral road? If you're that rich, you may as well buy a few friends. Huh? So a friendship can be bought? All right, I'll buy you, Majima san How much? What'll it take to get you to hang out with me? You sleaze is making my, your sleaze is making my skin crawl. If you got pockets that deep, just come to the club as a customer. The club? Uh, um, that ain't gonna fly, forget it. If that ain't gonna fly, forget it. No cash, I walk. Yeah. Oh no, it ain't that. I don't want to go. It just seems I have have a hard time spending much cash at a cabaret. You really think so? The Grand ain't some pop-up dive bar, pal. This girl's having you pay through the nose. Oh, don't worry, I got the money. Gotta say. I like the thing with the money shower before. Might give it a try myself one of these days. Yep. Yeah. 
I know, how about you invest it in our fund? Then you'd be making money hand over fist. Mm -hmm. Fund? What's that? An investment fund. Me and other wealthy people around the country share info and take contributions from investors. We got the same, the smarts to make the money work for us so you can be sure it's gonna pay dividends. Well, ain't you Mr. Freaking Fancy Pants. Change the subject and you're a whole new man. God, did it again. Did I? My bad. Anything money related and I run my mouth off. Us fat cats are like that. Still, ain't gonna make any profit with loose change, right? I'd have to invest big. Yeah, of course. Anyway, I talked enough for one day. Let's go over this some other time. Yeah, sure. You can usually find me around here. Come see me again if you're interested. Hey, Majima-san. Want to hear more about the investment fund? It could take a while, though. Ah, sure. Sure, I'll hear you out. All right, it's gonna take some time, so bear with me. If you get bored, feel free to start spacing out. Ain't gonna matter much either way. If you say so. First, the investment fund takes contributions from clients with money burning a hole in their pockets. Then we take the cash and invest it in a business we think shows promise. A share of the profits goes back to the investors. Basically, the people who borrow from us do all the work. And we just move the money around. So you're loan sharks then. Mm. Not exactly. Loan sharks make their pickings off of interest. We profit by investing in all sorts of things. Listed stocks, startups, and even movie productions or racehorses. If it gets us a return, we'll invest in it. You call that an investment? Sounds more like gambling to me. <laughs> Maybe so, but we only make bets we'll win. We don't make money when we an investment goes bad, so we do our homework. If it ain't gonna pay off, we don't put in cash. You can rest assured our money's safe. Sounds too, too good to be true. We keep looking until we find a sure thing. You'd fit the bill, Majima-san. Me? Of course, you run the top cabaret in Centembori, and I hear you're setting up your own cabaret club now too? Got your ear to the ground, all right. Didn't think word be out yet. <laughs> money talks, as they say, and our money does a lot of chatting. What'll it be then, Majima-san? Huh? What do you mean? Want to contribute to the fund, or will it take some of the fund's money, or will you take some of the fund's money? It's your choice. Huh? I get why you'd want to put up cash, but you're saying you'd invest in my business too. Yeah. Of course, but it ain't like it's our money. We'd be handing out. It'd be from one of our investors. Who would that be? Well, we actually use a system called Mutual Investment Trust. The hell's that? Yeah. Basically, we pair up clients, so whether you contribute or withdraw, it's always coming from or going to the same person. Say you contributed to the fund and we invested that money into the business of a certain Kason who runs a real estate gig in Kumarocho. If Kason's business goes well, a certain percentage of the profit comes back to the fund. Sounds normal to me. After, th after that's where it gets tricky. When Kason contributes to the fund, your business has priority when has priority when that money gets invested. Kason made the money thanks to your contribu contribution, so it's only fair you get first dibs on it. So the, the money I put it into, so the money I put in goes to real estate guy in Komorocho, huh? That's right, and when the certain someone in Komorocho invests some cash, it comes to you here in So Tinbori. Of course, we take our cut first, so it ain't the full amount if the investment pans out, though you sure to make a killing. By contributing to the investment fund, you can transfer money between the two protagonists, Kiryu and Majima. However, a commission you pay reduces the total amount invested in the certain percentage. When you're short on money for your business, transferring money from one another protagonist can help. That sums it up.
Okay, I think I get the picture. Alright, as a sign of good faith, here's a little cash injection from the fund. Got 10 mil. Whoa, hold up. That's a lot of dough. Well, first you gotta get your business up and running. Use that money to kickstart it. And once you flush invest it back with us. And you just and if you just go wasting it, it won't last long, and that'll be the end. Be sure to put it towards things that make you more money. Then you can go play around once you got extra. That's the key to getting rich. Huh? Alright, can't say no to that. Okay, so getting back to things. You know, die. Welcome to the investment fund. What'll it be today? None of the above. Hmm? I've been meaning to come up to this guy anyway. The hell is that? I don't recall there being a statue there. Well, here's a well made statue. What's it doing in a place like this, though? Pretty amazing detail, too. Wonder what they make this stuff out of. I, uh huh? I'm hearing voices now. <clears throat> Whatever the statue, though, sure looks lifelike. Doesn't feel like plaster at all. Yeah, that shit's breathing, bro. I ha 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 ha. Whoa, whoa, what the hell, man? You're alive. <sighs> hey now, buddy. That tickled. No touching, please. Think of it the act like a classy strip club. You can... You can look what you... Your hands off the performer. Performer? That's what I am. I'm a street performer. I go by the name of Toko Chichi. What I'm doing now is performance art. I'm playing the part of a statue, as you can see. Okay, I get the picture. You're really good. I thought you actually were a statue. Well, why are you doing this here? Oh, didn't you know? The area is a holy land for buskers. Holy land? The hell? Heaven, not hell. The heaven, heavy foot traffic means we get a very steady audience, and the locals are. And the locals here love a good comedy bit. 
so they have a great eye for quality it's my lucky spot well I guess if you put in the, if you put it that way the bridge does have its benefits so you practice in your act yes that would be a fair description ultimately I hope to be a street performer who inspires little kids to dream big I think street performers are entertainment that anyone can enjoy from kids who just learn to speak to elderly forgetting words I want to make people smile that's a grand dream good on you well I wish you the best and I'll be moving on sorry to disturb oh no it's fine see ya there's a guy who's got a dream worth dreaming. Hope he makes it come true. Maybe I'll check back later to see how he's getting on. マジマ。よう来た。待ったたね。王朝まで。何興奮しとんねん。そら興奮するに決まっとるやろ。なお前、水草やないか。たった一人で。せやけど、これで一件落着や。ようやったで、マジマ。何の話や。何って。お前やった
何わけわからんこと実は今だあんたの店で飲ましてもろてんねんお前グランドに<笑>いやもうちょっとええー、店やなマジマ君わしここ気に入ったで今から一緒に楽しもうやないかあんたも早おいでああはい That looks like it's going to wrap up chapter 7. They're going to give us a 10 million reward. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Probably just end up、uh, switching and investing it back over to Kiryu, having Kiryu invest it into his business, and then earning a shit ton of money. Because Kiryu seems to be in the area where you can earn more money. Like, you can earn a decent amount from the other side, but. Ah, I don't know.、They're, they both got little fun little games that you can do to earn money, though. Anyhow, guys, if you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Oops, excuse me. And subscribe, and I will see you guys in chapter 8. Thanks for watching.